All right, everyone. Today's video is based on placing text on solid objects. And we're going to go over a few different techniques we can use to do this, to give it just like slightly different effects, just how it's positioned um, in relation to the text itself or the surface that the text is on. So the first thing we want to do is make an actual solid that we can use for the modeling. So I'm gonna make a new sketch right here and just make a rectangle, except I'm gonna replace the top line of the rectangle with a spline. And splines are really useful because when you use a spline, that entire curve is one curve, not multiple curves. And this actually becomes really useful because it lets you have just a single surface on top instead of many. Um, now that we've made this sketch, uh, extrude the sketch real quick, we're gonna put it 25 millimeters. And you'll see that top surface is still just a single surface. After that, um, we need to place some text. So make a new sketch on the top plane. And we're gonna use a center line to be the base of the text. So I'm gonna stick it right here in the center. And when we place text, you have to give it a line to follow. It can be a curve, but we're gonna use a line. Once you're happy with the line, use the text tool. And in that curves box, select the center line. And then you can add whatever text you would like. If you would like to change the size of the text, uncheck this use document font box, then click the font box underneath it. I'm going to change the height to six millimeters. Once you're happy with that, just click the green check mark button right there. And after that, we are ready to extrude the text. There's a few different ways to do this. The first way we can do it is a blind extrusion, but that doesn't look very good, especially with a curved surface. Like, it's not very satisfying. Luckily, there's a few ways we can change this up. The first way to change it is to use a up to or an offset from surface option. And what happens is you select the surface you want to offset from. So I'm going to click that one right there. And then we're going to do a reverse offset. So when we click this in the box above, we can tell the program how much we want it to extrude above the surface. So I just put in two millimeters. And if we check it, now, at every point of the surface, it extrudes two millimeters above it. So just switching over to the sideways profile, you will see that the text is actually normal to the plane that the text was originally on. And if that's what you're going for, then that's a really easy way to add text. Another way to change this though is to delete the extrusion. And if we go up to the features toolbar, we click this wrap button. Now select the sketch with the text on it, so click the center line right there. And once we click that, next we just select the surface. So if we click the surface, we then put in the thickness. I'm just going to keep it at one millimeter for right now. And once we click that, once we check it, now it's again extruded a millimeter above the surface. But if we look at it from the side, you will see that instead of being perpendicular or normal to the plane the text was on, now the text is normal to the surface itself. So the text is actually at a different angle depending on where it is in the surface. This technique is especially useful when it's used on the circular and spherical objects. For example, on a cylinder, on a cone, but these are just two different ways to do slightly different effects that are useful. The last technique I'm going to show is when you want the main text sketch to be outside of the solid. And what we need to do for this is use reference geometry to create a new plane. And then the first reference, use the top plane, just the plane it's already on. And then all we need to do is change the offset. So it looks like 20 is a little short, but let's try out 45. And now that's been defined. All we have to do now is move the plane up so it's created before the sketch and then right click sketch and edit the sketch plane. 
once we click the sketch plane, it will move the text up to this one. So now the base text is not situated inside the solid, it's actually above it. Next, if we go to surface, we want an offset. If we click the stop surface, we will replicate the surface on the top of the solid and it will just put it a certain distance above the offset. Now, if we extrude, select the text again, and we want to extrude downwards on up to next. And when we use up to next, it goes to the next solid, not the next surface. So if we look at the cross section right here, you will see it passes through the offset surface. Now let's confirm that, and then use insert on cut, and there's with surface. And when we use this feature, what it will do is it'll execute a cut at a certain direction based on the surface. So if we flip the direction and it's going upwards, it will cut everything above the surface. Now, when we check it, you'll see it takes all of the characters above it. Now if we hide the plane, then we have that same effect that we actually had earlier. It just, the only difference is the extrusion started at a different point. You can still see it's normal to that plane up there, not the surface itself. And lastly, if we go over to the surface offset feature and click edit feature right there, we can change the thickness of the characters. So I'm changing it to half a millimeter. And now the character is just half a millimeter thick. This video has gone over many different ways to add text to objects and just use the method that feels the easiest or works the best for you. I hope you found the SolidWorks tutorial video useful. If you would like to continue improving your skills in SolidWorks, enroll in one of our online training courses at GoEngineer.